to make our cinnamon buns, you will need one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of salt, one and an eighth teaspoon of fast action dried yeast, which is about four grams of yeast, a quarter cup of white granulated sugar, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and for butter, we actually need three eighths of a cup for the filling and a quarter cup for the dough itself. We need one cup of milk, it can be whole or semi skim, three eighths of a cup of brown sugar, and two and a half cups of flour. To start with our cinnamon buns, we are going to measure out one quarter of a cup of butter which we're going to microwave to melt. So let's just measure our butter. So that's a quarter cup of butter and I'm just going to add this to a microwave safe bowl and just microwave it until it's fully melted. Now we're going to put this in the microwave for about 45 seconds or until it's fully melted. Now that I've melted my butter, it's time to measure out our milk. So we're going to be need about 250 millilitres, which is about one cup of milk. So let's just measure this up. Yep. So, um, we're just going to put this in the microwave until it's <laughs> lukewarm so that don't make make sure it's not too hot though otherwise it will kill the yeast so now that we warmed up our milk we're gonna add it to our butter give it a quick mix and now we're going to add one quarter cup of white granulated sugar so and add that to our butter and milk mixture so get it all up and now we're just going to give this another mix. And now we're ready to add our yeast. So now we're going to add one and an eighth teaspoon of yeast, which is about four gram. That's one teaspoon. And then we get an eighth teaspoon. Okay. We're just going to mix the yeast in so that all of it is hydrated. Now that all of our yeast is incorporated, we're just gonna let this rest in a dark, warm place for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm just gonna leave it in my oven without any heat and we'll just go from there. So now that all of our yeast has bloomed, it's time to add um, two cups of plain flour. So that's about one cup of flour, two cups of flour. So it should be like a really, a really wet though. And it should be wet like that because we're going to add more flour later as well. So just mix the flour into our wet ingredient. You don't want any pockets of flour. So now that it's all mixed in, I'm going to get some cling film and cover it and let it rest for an hour. And you can also use a wet towel to cover it. I'm going to let it rest in a dark, warm place for about an hour. So, leave it in here. And one hour. Okay, so now our dough has been resting for a one whole hour and there's some bubbles and it's like doubled in size. So once that's happened, we're just going to add half a cup of flour to our dough and we're going to give it another mix. 
So we're going to add that to our dough. And we also need half a teaspoon of baking powder. Half a teaspoon goes in. Okay. And now we're just going to give this a quick mix. So you might think it's really dry, but after folding it in, it's going to come together and it actually might be a bit sticky as well. So just mix it in as much as you can with the spatula and then we're going to dump it out onto the wax surface. So I think that's pretty good. So just dump, dump it out. Get all the bits of dough. And we're just going to knead. So let's just, it should be like a really soft dough. And that's the texture that we're trying to get. And you really need to knead it for at, at least 10, 10, 10 minutes. If it starts getting a bit sticky, you can add more flour. So my flour is all incorporated now, but you can still see that it's getting a bit sticky here because it's sticking to my hands a lot. So I'm just gonna add a sprinkle of flour on the stick, on the dough, and some on the board as well. So incorporate that, and we're just gonna keep on kneading. So try to add at, at the least amount of flour as possible. Yeah, so it's starting to get a bit sticky again. So, so add more flour, put it on the work surface and carry on kneading. And this is one half of the batch and I'm just going to save the rest for later and now we're going to be making our filling so now I'm going to be making the filling and this is enough filling for the whole batch so you're going to need three eighths of a cup of butter which is just a quarter cup and half a quarter cup that's about a quarter cup then I'm just going to fill this up halfway so half a quarter cup and now I'm going to add our brown sugar so just mash the butter up a little bit before you add any any of the other ingredients and now I'm going to add about um, three eighths of a cup of brown sugar which is also um, a quarter cup plus half a quarter cup that's one quarter cup and another quarter cup so half a quarter cup so let's add that in we're going to add our cinnamon so this is one teaspoon of cinnamon and then we're just going to mix it all together Now that I've kneaded my dough and made my filling, I'm just going to roll this dough out. So, now, because I'm, I'm only using half the dough, I'm just going to use half of the filling. So just put dollops in different places of there. So it makes it easier to spread. And try to get it all the way around the edges. So now that I have spread my filling on, I'm just going to, now I've just rolled 
this up and I'm going to cut it. So I made all my rolls, I cut them up and now I'm just going to grease my cake tin or you can use a cupcake tin and just put it in those individual cupcake cases. Cover this with a towel and let this rest for one more hour. After resting for one hour, bake at 180 degrees Celsius for 25 to 30 minutes. So now it's come out of the oven and it looks really good. And this one is just a ball we made with the ends of um, the roll. So this is how our cinnamon buns turned out. And we just pull them apart from the cake tin and if you want you can eat them with some icing like powdered sugar and water but I'm just going to eat it like this. Is it good? Good, good. <laughs> They're good.